To every little girl watching, we see you. We believe the time is now to make history. This game continues to grow. Progress has been made, but we haven't gotten far enough. It's important to have a sustainable women's hockey league, and we want the next generation to have equality. It's not like we've put in less sweat. It's that we've gotten less opportunities, and it's time that it changes. Equal sweat deserves equal opportunity. Equal opportunity. Equal opportunity.
Hello and welcome back to the Santa 2102 Verdun Auditorium, Montreal, Quebec. The Secret Dream Gap Tour and the PWHPA. My name is Jared Book. We are about to get ready for Team Harvey's against Team Adidas. Team Adidas in blue, Team Harvey's in white. The starting goaltenders for today's game will be Maddie Rooney for Adidas and Anne Rene Desbiens. She joined me in the first in, her, in the first period of the opening game between Sonnet and Scotiabank. The starting lineups getting introduced here. Lee Steckline, Laura Fortino, the defense for Team Harvey's. And the starting forwards for Team Harvey's will be Jesse Eldridge, Marie Philippe Poulet, Emily Clark. Lots of chemistry there. Uh, they played together in Montreal. They played together with Team Canada. She gets a warm welcome. Her first game in this arena. She's practiced here for about three years. But has not yet played a game here. I wish she missed last year at the Olympics. Missed the last PWHPA showcase. And we'll go down to ice level for the efforts. And we are back, ready to go, here in Montreal. Team Harvey's, 
Team Adidas. And the starting goaltenders, like I mentioned before, and René Desbiens against Maddie Rooney. The last two goaltenders to win Olympic gold medal games. And René Desbiens did so in 2022. Maddie Rooney did so in 2018 for Team USA. And uh, even though these these teams are region agnostic, there's no Team Montreal, there's no uh, Team Toronto, that Team Harvey's is probably going to be the favorite team in this home crowd. We have Anne-René Desbiens, Marie-Philippe Poulain, Carella Mard, Rosie Demers making her first PWHPA appearance. And on top of that, you also have players who have trained, Laurie Ann Rougeau, of course, as well. You also have players who have trained here, Jesse Eldridge, Emily Clark. It's going to be a very good matchup. And that top line for Team Adidas, that's a very interesting one. You have Jill Saunier, Sarah Nurse, and Kendall Coyne Schofield. That's what this, this new format is all about, getting combinations that you are not used to. And we are underway here in the first period. Poulain in the corner against Renata Fast. And it's going to be Nurse and Clark going at it there, and it's going to be stack line to Poulain. Another combination you're not used to hearing. And it's going to be Sarah Nurse now behind the net. She tries to center it, and it's Fortino who gets in front, shoots it just wide past Rooney. Stack line going back. And René Desbiens said that she's looking forward to playing with Steckline. Obviously, lots of battles against her in those uh, Canada-US games. Megan Mickelson puts the puck into the corner. It's picked up by Kristen O'Neill. Chance in front, Sarah Potomac, but Anne René Desbiens makes the save. Sarah Potomac you know, it's really a perfect example of why professional women's hockey is so important. She was a member of Team Canada, went to the 2017 World, and then was left off national teams, had a great year at the PWHPA last year, and she became a part of the 2022 World team for Team Canada. Shot off the faceoff was stopped by Dave Yang, and it's O'Neill. O'Neill and DeGeorge on the faceoff. It's Corella Mart. Back for Savannah Harmon. They battle for it in the corner. Laura Stacy has the puck and it's kicked up by Amard out of the zone and then right back in by O'Neill. They being plays it. There's going to be our first penalty of the game. Penalty. Kayla Vespa got her stick tangled up into the feet, and that's going to be a tripping call. Just 131 into this game. So it's going to be a power play for Team Harvey's. And Poulain is there, Rougeau. And it's in the corner for Jesse Eldridge. Lorraine Rougeau. Over the corner, but unable to get the puck through was Kristen Richards. That's going to be offside of the line as Richards just over the line. Richards was a forward early on in her career with the Brampton and Markham Thunder. 
now playing defense. Corella Mard also has been a forward, is on defense for Team Harvey. And early on, Team Harvey's just rolling, rolling their lines here, trying to get everybody into the game. Obviously, there's not, not much time to practice power plays and things like that. And here's Kendall Coyne Schofield, short-handed, but just a little too far in front of her. Even her speed isn't enough to catch up to that one. And Davine puts it into the corner. It's going to be picked up by Fortino. Fortino on the power play, always dangerous. And it's, here's Demers. Tries to get it in, but it's cleared out by Megan Mickelson. And it's Corella Mard who goes to get it. Here comes Savannah Harmon over the line to Alex Posnikov. To Jamie Lee Rattray who tries to make a move on Jocelyn Maroc. And Mard to Harmon. Harmon tries to flip it on goal, but it's blocked by Renata Fast and cleared out. 30 seconds to go in the penalty to Kayla Vespa. We're just getting underway here in the first period. There's them all. Renata Fast. Up to Laura Stacy. Back to Fast. And LaRock puts it in. There's definitely a feel of uh, Montreal Markham, the CWHL rivalry. Although some players are, are mixed with players that they aren't used to being with. Jamie Lee Rattray, Kristen Richards with Marie Vitcoulin. As an example, here's Sam Donovan coming the other way now. She centers it in front, but it's picked up by DeGeorge. Sorry, that's Grusha. And Rougeau comes the other way. Sophia Shaver around the boards, and it's picked up by Grusha. DeGeorge is there as well. And Richard steps up, but it's coming the other way. Here's a shot by Vespa. It goes over the net. Vespa out of the penalty box getting a scoring chance, but unable to get it on net. And it's going to be icing coming the other way now as the pass just not connecting. And as we saw in our first game, these teams are very little practice together as a unit. They, they practice in their regions, but these teams are not region-based. So a lot of talking on the bench, especially early on. The coaching staff trying to just find whatever chemistry they can early on. And this is a long season with two more announced stops in the Dream Gap Tour in Truro and in Pittsburgh. But there's going to be more to come. A lot more games here. Here's Mickelson coming up ice. Here's Sarah Nurse. Nurse has the pass intercepted and it's coming the other way. It's Emily Clark. Clark breaks in. Jincy Dunn is the defender back. The centering pass to Fortino. But unable to get a hard shot on Rooney. And whistle is there as you see on the replay. Fortino has a chance but just a little weak shot. Poulain and O'Neill on the draw. And it's won by Poulain back to Steckline. The shot tipped in front by Eldridge, but it goes wide past Rooney. Fast picks it up over to Jocelyn Laroc. Laroc off the boards to Laura Stacy. Stacy races after it. She's going to beat up the icing. Kristen O'Neill gets to the puck first. And it's Poulain who comes back the other way. Fortino up to Eldridge. And it's going to be Kristen O'Neill. Picks up the loose puck. Over to Sarah Potomac. Laura Stacy at the near boards with Lee Steckline. And it's coming back for Team Harvey. It's Rihanna Curio. She gets hauled down. There's going to be a penalty here. It's going to be Jocelyn LaRock going off for holding. And Team, uh, team Harvey is going back to the power play.
Jocelyn LaRock called down Rihanna Curio in her 10th pro season between the CWHL and the PWHPA. That's be Haley Skimura taking the draw against Sarah Nurse. It's won by Nurse, but Rattray was first on it. Will Amard, Rattray in the corner. Rattray picks up the puck and it gets to Savannah Harmon. Oh, Savannah sorry. That's Harmon. Over to Rattray. Rattray tries to pass it across ice to Amard, but it goes to the corner. Back to Harmon. Back to Amard. Amard to Skamura in the slot. And it goes into the corner, deflected in the corner by Sarah Nurse. Kazaniak is back there. As is DiGirolamo. Rattray. Back to Harmon, back to Rattray. Down low to a scramble. Poznikov was there. And it's going to be the Girolamo. Tries to get it out, but it's kept in by Skimura. Skimura to Rattray. Poznikov is in front. Rattray shoots it. I don't know if that got through, but it didn't go in. And now coming the other way, and again kept in, Harmon. 48 seconds to go on the power play. Poulain now, walks in, shoots just wide. I think that hit Poznikov in front and goes wide. Poznikov needs a change. This student has been, she's been on since the start of the power play. Here comes Poulain, left circle, back for Fortino. Back to Aldridge, back to Poulain. She loses the puck and back to Fortino. First game for everyone, even Marie-Philippe Poulain. Steck line with a chance. And it's back, and Fortino cannot keep it in. 12 seconds to go in the Jocelyn Laroc penalty. And it looks like Adidas is going to go for two for two on the kill in the first half of this first period. Here comes Eldridge. The penalty is expired now. Laroc back on the ice, and we're back to even strength. Laroc has the puck at the half boards. Over to Jinsey Dunn, and Jinsey Dunn shot is blocked by Fortino. Potomac back to Dunn, to Mickelson, and dumped into the corner. Laura Stacy's there, tries to wrap around on Debian. Debian makes the save. Dunn now, good forecheck here by Adidas. But Harvey's does get possession. Fortino to Clark, but unable to get the clear. Stacy is there again. O'Neill. Good shift for Adidas coming off of the penalty kill. And the shot from Dunn is smothered by Debian. 11 18 to go here in the first period. Can we take a look at that shot. Dunn had space, but not much traffic in front. And and Rene Debian is going to make that save most of the time. The PWHP wishes to express thanks to our premier partners, Secret Deodorant, Canadian Tire, Gatorade, and Adidas Hockey. There's Edie. Edie shoots at Megan Edie with the chance. Stopped by Debian. Richards passes it back to Rougeau and it's Grusho. And it's back to Rougeau. Gribbins on the four check for Adidas. But it is picked up by Rougeau. The George is there and the puck just gets out of reach and Dostaler. Clears in, but Rougeau picks it up. Sophia Shaver gets the puck into the zone, and Kuzaniak is the one to pick it up. Bailey Larson was there to intercept and block Sam Donovan, and the puck goes into the team at Edith's bench. 
PWHPA wish to express thanks to our partners, Harvey's, IGA, and Fresh Attitude Salads. If you haven't checked it out on the uh, PWHPA YouTube uh, channel, there's uh, quite the cooking competition with some members of uh, the PWHPA in Montreal. Here comes Corella Mard. Corella Mard of Curio can't get the puck there. Krasaniak with a nice stick there to tip the pass away. Igor Alamo is there with Damaris. Larson. Puck goes back to the point. It's Savannah Harmon. That one's tipped in front. And Maddie Rooney smothers that one. Goaltender sharp early on. Nine fifty-two to go here in the first period. Second game of the day here at the Verdun Auditorium. Here's Poznikov. Centers in front. Ratre is there. Ratre scores. Jamie Lee Ratre. Got the loose puck in front, spun around, fired the backhand past Matty Rooney, and Team Harvey's takes a 1-0 lead. Right off the faceoff, it was Skimura, and Poznikov just put it on front, and Ratray picked up the loose puck. And it's a 1-0 lead for Harvey's. Here's Sarah Nurse with a chance in front over Debian. Coin picks it up. And that puck goes out of play. So the assist on Ratray's goal going to Poznikov and Skimura. Goal at 10-13 of the first period. Jesse Eldridge to the point of Fruja. Back to Poulain, battling with Laroque. Kristen O'Neill is there. Tries to flip the puck to the line, but not out. Poulain, down low, Eldridge. And Fast is going to pick it up and turn it the other way for Adidas. Almost a turnover there, but Kristen O'Neill picks the puck up, and it's Laura Stacy coming the other way. Potomac for backhand shot. Kept in by Dostal. Fighting with Richards. There's a shot from Potomac. That one goes wide and she goes off for a change. And Krasaniak coming the other way for Adidas. Battle behind and Rene de Bien. De George is there. Amard is there. Harmon is there. And it's cleared out by Harvey's. Here's De George. Grusho with the puck at the far end. Shaver is the third member of this line. And it goes back into the Harvey zone. But Amard picks it up. Over to De George. Jensi Dunn picks it up. Curio. That puck kept in by Harmon. And dumped in. Bailey Larson and Sam Donovan at the far boards. Donovan gets it out. And Vespa. 
In the pocket, it's Fortino who comes away with it. Behind the net. Trying to get in, dangerous in the slot. And Vespa was able to pounce on the loose puck. Fortino losing the puck. And you don't want to lose the puck in the slot. Vespa was there. Fortunately for Team Harvey, Dave Yang made the save. Coin of the shot hits the side of the net and she takes the puck over. And then a fast. Back to Coin. And it's fast who picks it up in her own end. It's a really interesting matchup between Adidas and Harvey's because Adidas has great defense. And there are a lot of good forwards on Team Harvey's. Not that there's not good forwards on Team Adidas as well. But that's the matchup to watch in this one. Kuzaniak behind her own net. Trying to start to play up. The, the pass where Stacy misses. Stacy racing to try and get beat up the icing, but that did not work. The way I'm guessing she intended it to. 5.55 to go. Face off coming to the right of Maddie Looney. And don't forget to check out Shop PWHPA. Dot com for player jerseys and apparel. All profits go directly to the players. There's Emily Clark with a shot. Eldridge, the tip wide. Here comes Laura Stacy. She dumps the punk kid. They being goes to play it. Back to Rujo. Rujo over to Kristen Richards. Pass misses Eldridge. Loose puck, picked up by Stacy. Stacy drives the net. Debye makes the save. Loose puck in front, just misses. And picked up by Krasaniak and dumped back into the corner. Stacy behind her net. Turning around, Richards is playing on her. And the puck does get out. Eldridge able to get the, a change for some of her teammates. Corella Mar jumps on the loose puck. She walks in. She gets knocked down by Dosteller. And then Amara gets tripped up by Krasaniak. DeGeorge, who passes, gets the puck back to Harmon. Harmon fires a blocker saved by Rooney. Harmon again getting it towards the net. But it's picked up by Edie. DeGeorge back to Harmon over. To Amar, shot goes wide. Shaver on the puck there. And then dumped back in by Harmon. Grusho in the corner, battling with Pedro Alamo. Harmon to Shaver. Back to Harmon. She fires it. Blocked by Kelly Gribbins. And she races out to center ice and passes back to Amar. 3.54 to go here in the first period. Team Harvey's has a 1-0 lead. The goal by Jimmy Lee Rattray. Puck behind and Rene Debiens. Nurse who walks out in front. Chance in front. Scramble. But it's taken away and cleared out. Bailey Larson the last touch to get it out of the zone. Jin Dunn going the other way. Picked up by Coyne. Jill Saunier in the mix as well. There's Rosie Demers. Back to Steckline. She walks in. Going around the defenders. Trying to center it. Unable to get her stick on it. A little bit of smiles there between the Team USA teammates. Steckline and Rooney. Obviously opponents for this Dream Gap Tour. Steckline walked in. Tried to get the puck on her backhand. But ran out of room to make any kind of play on that one. So 
Skimura fires it. That hits the side of the net. Potomac. Up to Stacy. It's Renata Fast who fires it. Glove save there by Alex Poznikov. Steckline. And Rattray battling with it. 2.38 to go here. And the puck goes back into the Harvey zone. And Devier, a little bit of stick handling there as Vespa on the forecheck trying to cause a little damage. And there's another turnover in the Harvey's end. This one up to Rattray, and Rattray coming in. Two on two rush. She goes towards the net backhand, saved by Rooney. Vespa trying to clear it out, but it's kept in the line by Richards. Puck tipped in front by Eldridge. And Rooney covers up. Team Harvey's tomorrow will play Team Sonnet in the late game. Team Sonnet winning their game 4-2 to two over Team Scotiabank, who will face Team Adidas in the early game starting just around 1.30 tomorrow. There's a shot by Poulain. And it's saved by Rooney. It, it, it's weird to see Poulain not with a C on her jersey. There's a shot. And a big save there by Anne Renee Debien on Jinsi Dunn. Coin dives to keep the puck in, and it's into the corner behind the net now. Coin again. Coin Schofield. Centers it for Sarah Nurse, who fans on the shot and that gets out of the zone. Mickelson picks it up to Dunn. And dumped in with Debien. Richards. Poulain. Over to Emily Clark, who's battling with Renata Fast. Jocelyn Rock. Into the neutral zone, it's Sam Donovan. Vespa there as well. We went to the last minute of the first period. Savannah Harmon up close with DeGeorge. DeGeorge. Back to Shaver, back to George, but it's Willoughby for Adidas who comes away with it. Over the end boards. Battle between Amar and LaRock is there as well. 26 seconds to go in the opening period. Laura Stacy drives towards the net. When she makes a power move to the net, Laura Stacey, just, it's tough to stop her. 10 seconds to go here. Stacey dumps it in, like stack line. And Curio comes away with it in the final seconds. And we are going to the first intermission with Team Harvey's holding a one to nothing lead on Team Adidas. We'll be back for the second period, but before we go to break, we will have, I believe, Anne Rene Debien. In an interview, she's been busy, Anne Rene Debien. Usually, goaltenders don't usually talk on, on game day. She, did a, she was with me in the first period during the first game, and now she's going to do a rare goaltender intermission interview. Down at ice level. So there will be an interview, and uh, we'll go to break. 
with Harvey's leading one to nothing over Team Adidas. Carrel est mort. Ton équipe mène 1-0 après une période. Comment ça se passe? Ça va bien, ça va bien. C'est euh, notre premier match ensemble pour de vrai. Dans le fond, l'équipe est réunie. Puis euh, je pense que les nerfs sont tombés. Il fait chaud en masse. Euh, mais euh, c'était bon d'avoir un but. Puis euh, je pense qu'on commence déjà à avoir une belle cohésion en équipe. Là. Ça va bien. C'est une nouvelle formule cette année. C'est mélanger joueuses américaines avec joueuses canadiennes. Explique-moi un peu tout ça. Là. Mais c'est un produit qui est extraordinaire, dans le fond, que les gens n'ont pas vu encore. Euh, on voit beaucoup de, de mix match de Team USA et Team Canada, dans le fond. Fait que, euh, en ce moment, Marie-Philippe Poulin joue avec Lee Steckline, qui est une défenseure de Team euh, USA. De l'autre côté, on a Sarah Nurse, qui est avec Kendall Coin. C'est vraiment, euh, vraiment des belles équipes. C'est des, des contextes dans lesquels euh, nous, on n'a jamais participé. Euh, c'est le fun autant pour les fans que pour nous, les joueurs. Puis euh, c'est ça, c'est euh, des choses, dans le fond, que. Tu ne peux pas voir nulle part ailleurs que lors du produit qu'on donne sur la patinoire avec le PWHP. C'est vraiment le fun. En anglais maintenant. Your team is leading 1-0 after the first period. How's it going? It's 1-0. It's good. It's really hot. I'm out of breath. Uh, so it's going well. Um, I think the team is finally figuring it out itself. Uh, we're coming from everywhere. We've never really fully practiced together. So it's a good challenge, but uh, we're embracing it and we're having fun. Thank you. That was Karel Amard. And uh, here are some highlights from the opening period of play. To every little girl watching, we see you. We believe the time is now to make history. This game continues to grow. Progress has been made, but we haven't gotten far enough. It's important to have a sustainable women's hockey league. And we want the next generation to have equality. It's not like we've put in less sweat. It's that we've gotten less opportunities, and it's time that it changes. Equal sweat deserves equal opportunity. Equal opportunity. Equal opportunity. Equal opportunity.
Check out Nylander's new stick. A little something we came up with. Particle accelerator technology. Wow, that pops. Amazing, right? Eh, interesting. But if you want to see a real breakthrough, I just saved even more. Bundling Sonnet Home and Auto Insurance. Totally online in only minutes. Wow. Take a moment, save a bundle. Visit sonnet.ca. That'll be 93 cents, please. To create the best, you need to work with the best. Our skates have the best fit ever made. So good. Yeah, that's game ready fit. To make sure our skates are crafted for speed, we bring to life the greatest innovations. Combined with the best blades in the industry, it's no surprise the best choose the best. There's something uniquely homegrown about it. Getting up a little earlier, hearing no and doing it anyway. Sure, we dream our dreams, but work a whole lot harder and making them reality. And that's part of what makes all of us at Canada's own fresh attitude so proud to be homegrown and local. So inspired to bring you our best too. And so ready to get up and yell and cheer with all our glowing hearts for the melodies and all of those We'll take the word can't and turn it into can and bring a whole new meaning to the word Canadian. Hey everyone, and welcome to Timbits of Wisdom. The advice show for grown-ups by Timbits. My son has tons of assists, but he's upset he has no goals. You can't always be the winner. How can I relax? Get more sleep. What do you think I should do? Just talk to them. The other team has feelings too. Um, what's the meaning of life? Just have fun. <laughs> Who is asking that question? These dimensions are way off. Who built this? Show yourselves. What is this? He topped his Harvey's burger just the way he wanted. No. Extra pickles. Oh. Now he thinks he's in charge of everything. These barbecues even work? He's oh. the intern, right? He's gone mad with power. Am I the only one who knows how to architect? I'm the boss now. The sun is out. The music is in your control. Your crush is here. The vibe is good. Vizzy Hard Seltzer is a vibe. To every little girl watching, we see you. We believe the time is now to make history. This game continues to grow. Progress has been made, but we haven't gotten far enough. It's important to have a sustainable women's hockey league. And we want the next generation to have equality. It's not like we've put in less sweat. It's that we've gotten less opportunities, and it's time that it changes. Equal sweat deserves equal opportunity. Equal opportunity. Equal opportunity.
Hello and welcome back for a second period action. Between Team Harvey's and Team Adidas, Team Harvey's has a 1-0 lead. My name is Jared Book. As the players are just getting on the ice here for the second period of play. Scoring summary of the first period of play. One goal. It's Jamie Lee Rattray. Pouncing on a loose puck in front of the net. The assist to Alexander Poznikov and Haley Skimura at 10-13 of the first period. There are two power play opportunities for Team Harvey's in the first period. They didn't get a goal on either of them. We are 0 for 2, the only two power plays of the game. Same starting lineups for the second period. The line of Clark, Poulain, Eldridge for Harvey's against the line of Nurse, Saulnier, and Kendall Coyne Schofield. And it's Laura Fortino who picks up the puck. Goes up ice. Eldridge with the chip in, but it's blocked by Team Adidas. Cross Little Rock is there. Not a fast is back there as well. And Puck goes all the way to the ice, but the wet, the wet ice in early period comes to a complete stop. Has to be picked up. Eldridge fires it into the Adidas zone as they try and come up with it. Kendall Coyne gets it up to Saulnier. Saulnier coming into the Harvey zone. Loose puck in front is... Picked up by Sarah Nurse. Corella Mar, our guest on the first intermission, picks the puck up, battling Laura Stacy. And it's Rattray who gets it, and Stacy comes the other way. It's knocked down. Savannah Harmon over to Omar. Over to Posnikov. She battles with number 19 on Adidas, which is Jitsi Dunn. Battle of the 19s behind the net. Stacy. Over to Kristen O'Neill, who comes up ice. But Skamura blocks her path, and Debian picks it up behind the net. Here's DeGeorge. DeGeorge coming in. She gets pushed off the puck. Sophia Shaver battling there along the boards. Kristen Richards. And it's DeGeorge who gets in the corner over to Shaver. Shaver tries to center it over. Loose puck in front. Rooney makes the save and Shaver gets the puck back. Richards. Down low. Back to Richards. To Rujo. Centers it to Shaver, but she can't get the shot on. O'Neill was there to defend that as well. Shaver down to Grusho. And it's turned the other way, it's Potomac. Battling with DeGeorge. Rihanna Curio centers it to Larson, but it's blocked and it's Curio and Larson battling behind the net. O'Neill wasn't able to get off, long change here in the second period. The Girolamo is there as well. Sam Donovan back to Dunn. It's going to be picked up by Edie. Rosie Damaris back to Fortino and the puck. Fortino let it ride a little bit too long. And the official calls offside. 16.46 to go here. Just getting underway here in the second period. Thank you so much for joining us. PWHPA wishes to express thanks to our premier partners, Secret Deodorant, CCM Hockey, Bonk Scotia, 
and Sonnet Insurance. Puck in the D the zone. Clark to Poulain. Wires the one timer, but it's stopped by Rooney. Fortino picks it up. Over to Harmon. It's knocked down, and Eldridge picks it up. And Poulain coming up ice. Over to Clark. Puts it into the corner, and it's temporarily locked in by Harmon, but Eldridge brings it out and back in. Krasania over to Nurse. And it's picked up by Poulain. Over to Amar. Amar the pass to Harmon, but it gets blocked by Krasania. Nicholson Nurse on defense. As it gets to Kazania. She's pressured by Skamura. Skamura comes away with the puck, goes behind the net, centers it, shot on Rooney, but save made, and it's cleared to the corner. Harmon now. Up to Amard. Her shot. Tipped into the corner. And Amard has to go back to her own end to pick up the loose puck. Pass along the boards to DeGeorge. DeGeorge coming in. And Sam Donovan takes the puck. Battling with Grusha. Richards. And Sophia Shaver who knocks it in. DeGeorge and LaRock battling for it, but it's Grusha who comes away with it. She's battling with Kayla Vespa. LaRock is there. DeGeorge is there as well. Four women in the corner, and it comes out, but it's picked up by Shaver. Over to Richards. And Team Adidas coming the other way. Caitlin Willoughby. In behind the net is Vespa battling Richards. And looking at the loose puck and comes loose and Sophia Shaver comes away with it. Tries to get it to Claire DeGeorge and it's Jincy Dunn who comes away with it. Kelly Gribbins battling Lorraine Rougeau and it goes in the corner for Kristen Richards. And that pass almost picked off by Edie. That would have been a good chance for Adidas. But the puck skipped over a stick. Rosie Demers. In the corner of Megan Mickelson. Puck comes the opposite way. And it's Gribbins. Battling with Bailey Larson. Puck behind the net now. It's picked up by Edie. The Team Harvey's forecheck causing all types of trouble for Adidas. And there's another chance by Korea. Again on a loose puck. Emily Clark having a chance, but she can't get it settled down. Laura Fortino trying to keep the pressure on, but it will be offside as the puck came in after the players. Team Harvey's really putting pressure on the Adidas defenders. A lot of the action has been in Maddie Rooney's end. I don't think I've said Anne Renee Davian's name much in this period. We're just over seven minutes in. LaRock tries to make the pass, but it's going to be icing. She was looking for a call. She was knocked down. And they're not going to call icing in the end. <laughs> it's going to be taken at center ice. As the officials decided it wasn't icing after all. Poulain and O'Neill on the faceoff. It's the Rock who gets the puck. 
and not a fast. Tries to get it over to her teammate, and it's going to be Chris O'Neill who beats out the icing. Laura Stacy's there as well, but it's coming the other way. Clark trying to get it to Fortino just a little bit too far for the veteran defender, and she dumps it in. Fast picks it up, and Poulain right on top of her on the four check. And there's going to be a penalty here, and I believe it's going to go to Marie-Philippe Poulain. 12-16 to go. Looks like Team Adidas is going to get their first power play. Yeah, it's going to be Team Adidas power play. Marie-Philippe Poulain is... Oh, no, it is going to be... It is going to go to Team Adidas, actually. Poulain was saying that I wasn't holding her, she was holding me, and in the end, she was right. You can add official to the list of her accomplishments as Renata Fast is going to the penalty box. And a third power play opportunity for Team Harvey. Start off this power play. The forwards, the rat race, Kimura, Posnikov. The, the trio that was responsible for the goal that they scored. And on the back end, it's Savannah Harmon and Carilla Mark. Sarah Nurse on the penalty kill with Jill Saunier up front. And the puck goes back to Harmon over to Rattre. Amard keeps the puck in. It's Kimura. Down to Poznikov. Over to Amard, and the puck skips over her stick. And she's unable to keep it in. Had to react quickly because Sarah Nurse was right on top of her. Here comes Rattray. Apparently the fastest for holding the stick. There's Rattray. Puts it down low. Up to Savannah Harmon. Over to Amard. The Harmon. Posnikov. She tries to pass it, but it's not able to get the puck over, and Sonia gets to clear and gets a change for the team of these penalty killers. 108 remaining in the fast penalty. Kendall Coyne on the penalty kill. Always dangerous because of her speed and ability to read the play. And it's Steckline who gets the puck in. And it's back to Poulain. Poulain back to Lee Steckline. Back to Poulain. The right circle, she goes up to the top. Over to Fortino. Back to Steckline, back to Poulain. Back to Fortino. Fires it, and a blocker save by Maddie Rooney. Poulain in the corner. It's Emily Clark battling. Jesse Eldridge is the fifth member of this power play unit. Steck line. Back to Eldridge. Eldridge fires it on goal. Clark was in front, but the puck goes wide. And 2-1, and the penalty to Renata Fast is over now. And here's Kristen Richard. She centers it in front. Pull and shoots. Towards! Marie-Philippe Poulain didn't have a lot of time to fire that one. Didn't need a lot of time to fire that one. And Christian Richards brought the puck over to the slot. Poulain picked it up. Turnaround shot. And it's 2-0 Team Harvey. Richards had the puck here. The pass bounced off the skate right to Poulain in the slot. And doesn't take long for her to put it back behind Maddie Rooney. And here comes Shaver. Sarah Potomac. And it's Shaver coming the other way. Rougeau at the point. 
Back to Richards. Down low, there's a battle, but Jinsi Dan and Chris O'Neill come away with it. O'Neill coming in. O'Neill shoots. Centers pass score. No, off the post. What a chance that was for Jinsi Dunn. Not sure how that stayed out. Right off the post. What a great passing play that was. But Jinsi Dunn just unable to hit the net. That could have been a big goal for Team Adidas to cut the lead in half. Got a fast walk here over to LaRock. Shot. Rebound in front. Sam Donovan's there. They've been. Is there? Gailey Griffin scores. Scramble in front. They had about four chances there, and it's Kelly Grivens who gets the goal for Team Adidas just a few seconds after. I thought they had scored. And Kelly Grivens, who played seven games last year in the Dream Gap Tour, did not score a goal in her first game this year. She gets it on the rebound. 27-year-old, Port Elgin, Ontario native at the University of Guelph. And she gets her first goal in two seasons. comes Kendall Coyne Schofield. And it's Kimura who comes away with it. And Flora Fortino brings it into the zone. And she's stopped by Sarah Nurse and Nurse trying to come back the other way. Unable to get a good handle on the puck and it's Rattray who blocks the pass and it's a turnover as she centers it to Poulet, but just unable to get the puck to her. And now coming back the other way, it's Sarah Potomac. Two on two for Team Adidas. Centering pass to Laura Stacy, just out of her reach. And Rattray comes back, and we're getting a lot of end-to-end -end action here midway through the second period. Players getting a little bit more chemistry, maybe a little bit more game under their belts. Remember, this is the first game a lot of them have been playing for a matter of months. No exhibition games in the Dream Gap Tour. And Eldridge now comes away for Team Harvey's. Turnover again, Potomac. She walks in. Oh, what a move by Estrada Potomac! Gets around Anne Renee Debien, who is playing the shot. She held on to it, and oh my goodness, what a goal! by Sarah Potomac, and we are tied. Watch this move by Potomac, just walking in. Debian was so sure she was gonna shoot it. Potomac able to sneak it in behind the goaltender. And just like that, Two goals in a minute, 30 seconds, and Adidas right back in this game. Goal unassisted by his Potomac bounce on the loose puck. And Team Harvey's, who is looking pretty with a 2-0 lead, see that lead not only vanish in 90 seconds, but now a tie game. Savannah Harmon picks up the puck. Over to Alexa Grusha. Over to Claire DeGeorge. George. 
Sam Donovan. Coming the other way for Team Adidas. It's back in the neutral zone. DJ Olamo. Over to Dostler. DJ Olamo picks up the loose puck. Over to Laura Dostler. And Fortino. Touches up as it's going to be offside. They didn't tie up to the leaders, so it's going to be neutral zone faceoff. 5.40 remaining here in the second period. We're tied at two. Megan Nicholson jumps up in the play. Jill Sonier behind the net. Battling Steckline. Coyne is there as well. She comes away with it. Back to Nicholson to the point. Shot fired. Hits Sonier at the side of the net. And Coyne again comes away with it. Puck down low. Sonier. Back up to Nicholson. She fires it towards the net, but Fortino is able to stop the puck. And it goes to the neutral zone. Curio. Beat to the puck by Jinsi Dunn, who gets to Nurse, who falls at the red line. And it goes to the opposite end of the rink. Fortino dumps it in as Team Harvey's gets a change. Dunn, behind her own net. To Nicholson, she tries to get the pass up, but it's going to be Kristen Richards for Team Harvey's who gets it in her own end. The pass to Skimura skips by and the icing is beat out by Rattray. And Poznikov with a chance in front, but Mickelson sprawls out, blocked the pass over. And here's Kristen O'Neill. She goes around two defenders. It's gonna be a three on two rush now for Team Adidas. Stacy fires just wide. Laura Stacy with the wrist shot just wide of Anne-Rene Desbiens. Four minutes to go here in the second period. Stacy, back to fast. And that's going to be icing as the puck misses. 3.55 to go. The PWHPA wishes to express thanks to our partners, Budweiser, Tim Hortons, Vizzy, Blademaster, and Noble Estates. And don't forget, if you want to stay up to date with the PWHPA action, Sign up for the newsletter at pwhpa.com slash connect. This is just the first stop on the Dream Gap Tour. The game's obviously tomorrow, and then it's over to Truro, Nova Scotia, and Pittsburgh in the month of November for the next two stops. We're out of fast to La Rock and Stacy unable to corral that pass, and it's brought back into the zone by Emily Clark. Sarah Potomac, who scored a tying goal on a beautiful individual effort. Gets the puck to center ice. Eldridge, Harmon. It's Eldridge who brings the puck in, dumps it behind the net, but it's picked up by Renata Fast. And coming the other way is Kristen O'Neill. Here's Alexa Grusho. Grusho enters the zone, but Jocelyn Rock is there to block her path, and Potomac comes the other way. She dumps it into the zone. Davian stops it for the stack line, but passes it back, and it's Fortino who has to race after it. Back to stack line, and she gets into the zone. Girolamo. Gets it to Dostauer. And out of the zone. And it's Kuzaniak who picks it up in the Adidas end. 2.24 to go. Tied at two here in the second period. Between Team Harvey's Team Adidas, we've had three goals in the second period. Kristen Richards. Over Laura Fortino, back to Richards. 
Claire DeGeorge, and it's DeGirolamo who gets the puck up, but that's just out of the reach of Gribbins, but she does race to it behind the net. Gribbins, who scored the first goal for Team Adidas. Joel Sani is there, but it's back the other way for Bailey Larson. Jinsey then knocks it out of the air, and it's Megan Mickelson who picks it up. 1.34 to go. Sonia knocked down by Ruja. And it's into the corner. It's Demers with Sarah Nurse. Centering pass in front to Sonia, but unable to get it on goal. And Richards has her attempt stopped by Mickelson at the red line. And it's back behind the net to Devine. There's a shot by Adidas tipped in front by Nurse. It was Renata Fast who got the shot on. Tipped goes just wide and it's Poznikov coming the other way. Final minute of play here in the second period. About 39 seconds to go. There's Rattray. Rattray in front and a great chance there. There's going to be a penalty call on the play. As Rattray made a beautiful pass up to Poznikov, but unable to corral it. But it's going to be a, another penalty to Team Adidas with 10.6 seconds to go. It's the Going, the penalty is actually going to Poznikov. So it's going to be the first penalty of the Team Harveys. They only have 10.6 seconds here to try and get something. Stacy. Shot by Dunn goes wide, and that's going to just about do it for this second period. And that's the end of the second period. We're tied at two goals from Poulain. Kelly Gribbins and Sarah Potomac get us to where we are now. Still a minute, 50 seconds to go in the Team Adidas power play, their first of the game. So they'll open with a minute, 50 seconds on the power play when we get into the third period. Thank you for spending your Saturday evening with us on CBC Sports. And we'll be back shortly with third period action. Et là, tu le fais aujourd'hui devant les gens à Verdun. Qu'est-ce que ça représente pour toi? En plus, c'est le premier événement du, euh, du showcase. C'est très spécial. Ça fait longtemps que dans ce moment-là, on travaille à chaque jour pour euh, prouver que l'hockey féminin, ça, ça prend une, une, une ligue. Puis de voir les, les jeunes filles, les jeunes garçons qui viennent s'organiser avec leur famille, euh, bah, ça nous rappelle pourquoi qu'on le fait. On est passionné avec ce qu'on fait. Puis de les voir éblouir les yeux. Entendre prix nos noms, c'est quelque chose d'exceptionnel, puis ça c'est juste un bon rappel, c'est sûr. Après deux périodes, c'est 2-2 deux, deux pour l'instant. Es-tu satisfait de la sortie de ton équipe? Euh, je pense qu'on a un petit peu lâché en deuxième période. Tu sais, c'est la, la première partie avec notre équipe. On vient un petit peu partout, on pratique pas ensemble tout le temps, mais tu sais, ça démontre que vraiment les équipes sont, sont mélangées, le talent est dispersé, c'est ça qui est le fun. C'est ça qui fait une troisième période excitante. 
Okay, maintenant. After the second period, it's tight, 2-2. Uh, what do you guys need to do in the third period to take the lead? Yeah, I think we just got to keep uh, working on our D zone. Obviously, Anne René has been uh, making unbelievable saves, but for us, we got to take care of our D zone and then after going to the O zone, but obviously take care of that first and then go forward. There's some highlights from the second period of play after we just heard from Maggie Fitzcolain. There's her goal in the second period. And you want to keep watching in just a moment because Sarah Potomac's goal is coming up, and that was just an unbelievable effort. To every little girl watching, we see you. We believe the time is now to make history. This game continues to grow. Progress has been made, but we haven't gotten far enough. It's important to have a sustainable women's hockey league. We want the next generation to have equality. It's not like we've put in less sweat. It's that we've gotten less opportunities, and it's time that it changes. Equal sweat deserves equal opportunity. Equal opportunity. Equal opportunity. Out Nylander's new stick. A little something we came up with. Particle accelerator technology. Wow, that pops. Amazing, right? Eh, interesting. But if you want to see a real breakthrough, I just saved even more. Bundling Sonnet Home and Auto Insurance. Totally online in only minutes. Wow. Take a moment, save a bundle. Visit sonnet.ca. That'll be 93 cents, please. To create the best, you need to work with the best. Our skates have the best fit ever made. So good. Yeah, that's game ready fit. To make sure our skates are crafted for speed, we bring to life the greatest innovations. Combined with the best blades in the industry, it's no surprise the best choose the best. There's something uniquely homegrown about it. Getting up a little earlier, hearing no and doing it anyway. Sure, we dream our dreams, but work a whole lot harder and making them reality. And that's part of what makes all of us at Canada's own fresh attitude so proud to be homegrown and local. So inspired to bring you our best too. And so ready to get up and yell and cheer with all our glowing hearts for the melodies and all of those We'll take the word can't and turn it into can and bring a whole new meaning to the word Canadian.
Hey everyone, and welcome to Timbits of Wisdom. The advice show for grown-ups by Timbits. My son has tons of assists, but he's upset he has no goals. You can't always be the winner. How can I relax? Get more sleep. What do you think I should do? Just talk to them. The other team has feelings too. Um, what's the meaning of life? Just have fun. These dimensions are way off. Who built this? Show yourselves. What is this? He topped his Harvey's burger just the way he wanted. No. Extra pickles. Oh. Now he thinks he's in charge of everything. These barbecues even work? He's the intern, right? He's gone mad with power. Am I the only one who knows how to architect? I'm the boss now. The sun is out. The music is in your control. Your crush is here. The vibe is good. Vizzy Hard Seltzer is a vibe. To every little girl watching, we see you. We believe the time is now to make history. This game continues to grow. Progress has been made, but we haven't gotten far enough. It's important to have a sustainable women's hockey league. We want the next generation to have equality. It's not like we've put in less sweat. It's that we've gotten less opportunities, and it's time that it changes. Equal sweat deserves equal opportunity. Equal opportunity. Equal opportunity.
we are back for the third period of action. Should be a good one. We are tied at two. Thank you for joining us for the second game of the Cortex Showcase Day 1 of the PWHPA Dream Gap Tour. The first stop of the year as the season gets underway here at the Verdun Auditorium, the Sansa 2102 in Montreal. Second period scoring summary. Marie-Philippe Poulain, who else, opened the scoring in the period to make it 2-0 Team Harvey's. The assist going to Kristen Richards. And then Team Adidas with two goals in 90 seconds. First one by Kelly Gribbins, assisted by Sam Donovan. And a great individual effort, unassisted goal by Sarah Potomac, which you will see, or you should see, on highlight reels. Just go back and watch the stream back on YouTube after the, after the game, if you missed it. We'll also have highlights at the end of the game. Poulet and Nurse taking the opening face off here in the third period. Team Harvey is still shorthanded for a minute 43 seconds now. As Alexandra Posnikov is in the penalty box, as Justin Rock takes the buck back to Sarah Nurse. Sarah Nurse now. Ice is still a little wet here to start the period. Puck might stop sliding a little bit in certain spots. Part of the reason why power plays to start the period are not always successful. As Jamie Lee Rattray gets the puck down the ice, and Maddie Rooney stops it for her team. 105 to go in the penalty to Posnikov. Sarah Nurse coming up ice. She breaks in. Megan Mickelson with the shot. Goes wide and it's picked up by Shaver. And it's put down the rest of the way by Haley Skimura. Mickelson now. 41 seconds to go in the Team Adidas power play. So far, not much doing here as Jinsey Dunn picks the puck up behind her own net. Over to Mickelson. Stacy puts it down the rest of the way, and Henry Nivian goes for a little skate and a little slide. Ends up getting the puck off the boards and down the ice. Shaver pressuring Jinsey Dunn, and the puck just sticks there and sticks there again as the George tries to. Get a chance out of it. Back to Harmon. The centering pass. Uh, shot tipped wide by DeGeorge. And the ice causing a few issues here. With the puck just stopping on a dime. Early on. Emily Clark. Gets the puck. And we're back at even strength, by the way. The Poznikov penalty has expired. Neither team has scored on the power play. Harvey's is 0 for 3, Adidas 0 for 1. Jesse Aldridge behind the net. It's going to be Corella Mark coming in from the defender spot. And there's a chance for Emily Clark who walks in front of the net but unable to get a shot off. And coming the other way is Caitlin Willoughby. It's going to be a 3 on 1, 3 on 2. Shot by Willoughby and stopped by Dave Bien. Number 17 stopped with 17, 17 left on the clock. As she walks in, Harmon was defending it and right into the chest of Anne Renee Davian. Face off one by Tina Vidas, it's Sonia who fires it just wide. And Skimura comes and breaks in, shoots just high and wide. Not a fast fell to the ice, giving Skimura a pass to the net. And that's going to be just offside. Jill Sonier. Unable to keep the puck out, just a momentary length of time sooner. And it's going to be offside. Still early in the third period, 17 minutes to go. Thank you for joining us here on CBC Sports. 
My name is Jared Brook, and I'll be here all weekend. Still have two games tomorrow in the last 17 minutes of this one, perhaps overtime. Although, here comes Rosie Demers. The rest shoots. That one stopped by Rooney. Back to the points, Deckline. Deckline shoots it. Stop. Rebound, Curio. And Rooney makes the save. I laughed about overtime because last game, about 30 seconds left in the game, tied it to and Aaron Ambrose. Won it for Team Sonnet. There was an empty netter as well. As there's a chance by Curio on the rebound. The first shot gave Rooney a little bit of trouble. The rebound fell in front. And Curio wasn't able to put it past the American goaltender. Poulain and Dostler. And a shot by Steckline stopped by Rooney, but she's not able to keep the rebound in, and it has to be picked up by Sarah Potovac. She gets the center, dumps it in. Avoids the icing. Dostler. Down low with Potomac. But it's Deckline who comes away with it. Eldridge walking out. Emily Clark, and she has a two on one of Mario Fidu Play. Clark has it. Shoots. Trying for the rebound. And it's Fortino with a shot that stopped by Rooney. A big stop. Emily Clark was looking for the rebound, but Rooney was able to kick it away from Poulain. It went into the slot, and Steckline, uh, Fortino had the chance. And obviously, Fortino may be a little bit less dangerous than Melanie Philippe Poulain. Two big stops by Rooney, and there's a shot from Jocelyn Rock as Kelly Gribbins is down low with Kristen O'Neill. A chance for Laura Stacy in front. Scramble in front, but it's taken away by Laura Fortino. And she's able to put the puck off the boards and out of the zone. The George just over skates in and it's brought back by Laura Stacy. Stacy fires it just not able to get anything on that shot. And it's cleared again. Still tied at two here. As Kristen O'Neill back to Kurzaniak. Over to Kendall Coin Schofield. She breaks in two on one for her. She goes over to pass to Sonye. But again, good defense there. That time by Savannah Harmon. And Sonny had no opportunity to shoot. And this is going to be, oh, they just tagged up in time. And Grusho has the puck. Back to Amart. Krasaniak blocks the shot. And it's Sonny now over to Kendall Coin Schofield. The Girolamo's there. With Sonia, but it's coming the other way for Harvey's. It's Corella Marn. Tried to go off the boards to Rattray, but it's kept in by Sarah Nurse. There's Sam Donovan, a shot. Big stop by Anne Renee Debian. Sam Donovan had a chance in the slot, put a good amount of wrist into that shot, but Anne Renee Debian with the leather. The nurse put it in. Puck kind of falls to Donovan. She had a good, got a good shot away, but Dave Bien was able to catch it with the trapper. Here comes Lee Steckline. She shoots it, and Rooney grabs it, and there'll be a whistle and a face-off. PWHPA wishes to express thanks to our premier partners, Secret Deodorant, Canadian Tire, and Air Canada. See another look at the deck line shot. Again, these two teams will be in action tomorrow. Team Adidas will face off against Team Scotiabank at around 1.30 Eastern Time. And Team Harvey's will face off against Team Sonnet in the second game. There's Emily Clark. But it's taken away by Laura Stacy. Steckline keeps it in. Shot on Rooney. And she covers up, and it's another gonna be another face-off in the team Adidas zone. Remember, every point matters 
in this Secret Dream Gap Tour. There's no, not really a tur tournament format where, you know, the two winners from today's action will play against each other. The matchups are already set up, but every point will matter in the standings as the Secret Dream Gap Tour kicks off in Montreal before going to Truro and Pittsburgh in November. And there'll be more stops announced along the way as well. There's O'Neill. And it's Laura Stacy battling with Lee Steckline. She gets it back to the point. Jocelyn LaRock. She battles with Poulain. Sarah Nurse now. Poulain in there again. Emily Clark there. Laura and Jesse Elders there as well. Puck gets cleared and it's going to go back all the way to the other end of the ice. It's going to be icing. Kuzaniak slowed down, but it will be icing in the end. And that line will have to stay on for Team Harvey. It's 13 minutes to go here in the third period. The next stop on the Secret Dream Gap Tour is in Truro, Nova Scotia. Kicks off on November 4th. And it will be broadcast on CBC, same way you're watching this game right now. You can watch all games from the Secret Dream Gap Tour this season. Bailey Larson trying to get the puck out for Team Harvey's, and she does. Grzania picks it up, unable to get it back in. She battles with Larson. It's Rihanna Curio over to Rosie Demers. She goes behind the net. Back up to Richards. Over to Harmon. Harmon fires it. And <laughs> Rooney just kind of bats it out with her blocker. She's probably going wide anyway. She just makes sure of it. It's picked up by Damaris. Over to Curio. She tries to get the shot away. Unable to. Grzaniak clears it, but unable to get it out. To Girolamo. Pass it up to Jill Sonny. Jill Sonny move on Lurian Rougeau. She shoots past the coin and it's in. What a goal. What a move by Jill Sonny to go around Lurian Rougeau. And Kendall Coin Schofield gives Adidas their first lead of the game. One of those combinations that going into it when you look at the rosters, you knew you'd have the opportunity to see. And Sonny and Coin not usually teammates combined for a great goal as Coin fights through the check. Rousseau is there but unable to stop Kendall Coin Schofield as they take the lead. 7.57 into the third period. Three straight goals now for Team Adidas as they've turned a 2-0 deficit into a 3-2 lead in the third period. Laura Dostauer with the puck and it goes into the neutral zone. Shaver called for offside. Team of Jesus. Sonny getting the only assist on the Coin Schofield goal. Great individual effort by both players combining for that one. There's another chance for Team Adidas. And it comes the other way. Jamie Lee Rattray in a foot race with Jinsi Dunn trying to get it over. The Poznikov, it's Gamura. She had some loose pocket. Oh, what a save by Maddie Rooney. Laura Stacy was involved as well. It looked like Skimura had a wide open net. But the combination of Stacy and Rooney made that puck go just over the gaping cage. And here's Posnikov, another chance. Amard in there as well. 
Team Harvey is pushing for the equalizer here. Clark puts it on net, hits the side of the net, and there's going to be a whistle. 10.32 to go. Let's take a lovely look at that chance. Skimura walked in. The pass hit Nicholson. Goes back to Skimura. And Nicholson's able to stop Skimura from getting into the open net. Great defense there after an unlucky break caused the the opportunity when the puck didn't escape. There's Eshi Eldridge, unable to corral the puck, and it gets to the neutral zone. Sarah Nurse for checking hard on the deck line. And now if Poulain comes away with it, she gets knocked down. No call on the play, and Sarah Nurse is going to come back the other way. Tries to get it to Sonier. Slow too far. Goes in the corner for Coyne Schofield. Into the slot for Sonia, but that pass is batted down before it can get to the Nova Scotia native. Fast in the corner with Fortino. And Poulin comes away with it and goes for a change as Larson tries to get it into the Adidas zone, but Caitlin Willoughby, who walks away with it. And out of fast. Unable to get it to her teammate, and Larson again with Demers. But comes the other way for Kayla Vespa. She gets it deep in the Harvey zone. Lorianne Rougeau comes away with it. Trying to get away from the forecheck of Sam Donovan over to Kristen Richards. And her pass is intercepted. by Jessica DiGirolamo and the shot goes up and over the glass and we have another break here in play nine minutes to go there's another look at that chance and I I, I think that Rooney did get her stick on that as we get another look it looked like live it's right in right in front of my field of vision. It, looked, it sounded like she got a stick on it, and sure enough, I think she did. Here comes Sophia Shaver. Partial two on one, but they back check well, and Alexa Grusho unable to get the Corral pass there, and it's Claire to George, trying to center it, but it goes right to Laura Stacy, and she gets taken down by Grusho, but no call on the play, just tangled up. Here's the George. The George. Over to Grusho, shot stopped by Rooney. Grusho is probably going to be disappointed she didn't get more on that one. But Rooney was there. Yeah, great defense there by Laura Stacy. To make sure Grusho didn't get much on that shot at all. There's Mickelson. And the George is there. And Corella Mart. Up to Shaver. She tries to get it out, but unable to. But now it comes back the other way. Grusho. Alexa Grusho. Over to the George. She's not able to get the puck through a Saulnier. Sacrifices her body to block that pass or shot attempt. Now in the corner, it's Nurse. Steckline trying to keep it in. But Kendall's coin Schofield, what a play. From her knees, able to get her stick on that puck and get it out of the zone. But Harvey's comes right back in. It's Fortino. And it's that trade who gets it back to Fortino. Fortino trying to get the shot in. Sonny again with the block. And Sonia gets to Kelly Gribbins. Sonia goes to the bench after a couple of shot blocks. 7.16 to go here. Time running out for Harvey. Is there a look to get the equalizer? Lee Steckline gets the puck. Laura Fortino back. Unable to get around the four checkers. 
And it's regrouping time for Team Harvey's. And again, Jocelyn Rock over to Grivens. Unable to get the shot away. She battles with Steckline in the corner. Caitlin Willoughby. As the defender falls, Willoughby goes towards the net. Unable to get the puck on goal. Renata fast with a shot. That was tipped in front by Givens, but no one there to pounce on the loose puck. The side of the net. Here comes Kristen O'Neill. She centers at the pass to Sarah Potomac. Unable to get a stick on it. Goes into the corner. Laura Stacy was knocked down there. In the corner, she pounced on a loose puck. Tries to corral it to O'Neill. Potomac behind the net as well. A lot of opportunities for this line today. But unable to, to get one except for Potomac's goal. But they've been around the net very often as that one goes out of play. 5.59 to go here in the third period. The Team Adidas is up 3-2 on Team Harvey. In each team's first game here in the Secret Dream Gap Tour for the 22-23 season. Jesse Eldridge has the puck. And it's coming the other way. It's Madeline Fitt tonight. She tries to get it to Amar, but the puck goes over her stick. And again, Team Harvey's has to regroup. I think we'll be seeing a lot of Magnifique Poulain in the last five minutes and 34 seconds. Megan Nicholson now. Trying to keep the puck as far away from her own goal as possible. It's picked up by Savannah Harmon. Harmon up to Eldridge in the neutral zone, but it gets past her to Jinsey Dunn. Over to Mickelson. Pass it back to Vespa. And Amara trying to get it out. Sam Donovan's there. Vespa to George. And finally up to... There's going to be an interference call here, I believe. Yeah, interference is going to be the call. And Team Harvey's is going to go back to the power play. 4.51 remaining. It's going to be Renata Fast. Her second penalty of the game. She's not too happy about that one. And now the question is... Well, it's already answered. I was going to say, will Marie for the play leave the ice on this power play? And uh, she's not even on the ice to start it. As they're going to go Ratrace, Kimura, Poznikov with Fortino and Steckline on the back end. Face-off is won by Team Adidas. O'Neill wins the face-off. And back to Fortino. Harvey's comes away with it anyway. That's right. The puck at the left wall. And LaRock puts pressure on her. It's going to go around to Sarah Potomac. One thirty-four remaining. Already 20, 30 seconds now killed on the penalty. There's Fortino with a chance. Shot blocked by LaRock. At one time those two <laughs> were Canada's top pairing battling against each other here. And Amara gets the puck stolen away from Sarah Nurse. Sarah Nurse has the puck. She's just killing time. As already half of the penalty to fast is gone. One minute remaining. Jesse Elders now coming into the zone. Team Harvey really hasn't gotten the power play set up. And here comes the unit with Imard, Harmon, and then line of Eldridge, Clark, and Poulain. But De Bien is the only one playing the puck as Adidas clears it the length of the ice. 35 seconds to go in the fast penalty. 3.25 to go in the third period. Team Adidas up by one. Kurzania 
Nice pressure from Clark, and she's able to get it out as Harmon is unable to get there in time. 18 seconds to go in the fast penalty. And a great job by the team of Adidas penalty kill. Big two minute kill as there's now under 10 seconds remaining. And Harvey's will be left with about two minutes and 50 seconds to tie this game. Penalty is over. Fast back on the ice. 0 for 4 for the Harvey's power play. So far this evening. Here comes Sophia Shaver. She has lots of space as Adidas was line changing. Rougeau with the shot. That was tipped by Vespa and goes wide. Mickelson now taking the puck up ice. She has Willoughby with it. But Rougeau blocks the pass and it comes back the other way. The George over to Poznikov. Poznikov trying to create space. Over to Poulain. The George was shot, stopped by Maddie Rooney. The extra attacker is out. The goalie is pulled. And Rene Devian has gone to the bench. 1.50 to go here. Six on five for Team Harvey's as they try and tie this game. 1.40 to go now. The puck gets wheeled around the boards by Jinsi Dunn and it's picked up by Steckline. 1.32 to go. Ratre. Over to Poulin. I'm oh, sorry, it's Emily Clark. Battling with it. And now. Sarah Potomac gets the loose puck, scores! Sarah Potomac gets the loose puck, puts it into the empty net, and it's now 4-2 for Team Adidas. Potomac's second goal of the game. 119 remaining here. As Potomac got the loose puck in the neutral zone, made no mistake. That was a lot easier than her first goal of the game. has four straight goals for Team Adidas after Harvey's came out to a 2-0 lead. She gets the empty net goal. The second Potomac goal, both of them unassisted. Dave Yang is back in goal now with a minute remaining in this game. They don't seem to be pulling her. Fifty six point six seconds remaining. And it looks like Team Adidas is gonna come with the the win in their first game of the Dream Gap Tour. Debian now goes to the bench. A kind of late change. Late pull of the goaltender just before the face off. as Corey Chevery is trying to get her team back in this. 40 seconds to go, and that puck is now up to Damaris. She battles with it. It goes right to Curio, who gets to Larson, but unable to get a shot off. Skamura now. 20 seconds to go. Up to Savannah Harmon, the shot. Didn't get much on that one. It doesn't make it through. 15 seconds to go. And it looks like that's how this one is going to end. The Maris with a chance. Unable to get a shot off. Under 10. Another big save by Rooney. That one was tipped in front. But Maddie Rooney holds on. And so does Team Adidas. The 4-2 win over Team Harvey's. They were trailing 2-0 midway through the second period. Four straight goals, including an empty netter. And they pull out the win in their first game. The so Team Adidas at 1-0 will face off against Team Scotiabank, who lost their game in the first game tomorrow. And Team Harvey's at 0-1 will face off against Team Sonnet, who beat Scotiabank in the opener. Action will get underway at 1.30. 
shortly after 1.30 tomorrow on Sunday, Eastern Time, here in Montreal. We'll have the three stars presentation coming up shortly. And one of those three stars will be talked to after that presentation. Sarah Potomac is likely going to be the first star of this game with two goals. Maddie Rooney also playing a big game. Shutting the door after allowing two, two goals in the first half of this game. And we'll go to ice level for the presentation of tonight's three stars. Salute the crowd first. And there will be no three star presentation. And we'll be joined by Anne Rene Desbiens who's making her way over to, to the interview. So this day started with Van Rene Desbiens with me in the first intermission, and I'll end with her right now. d'avoir participé de jouer un match. Euh, c'est certain que ça l'allait beaucoup des deux côtés, beaucoup de revirements, euh, beaucoup de chances de marquer. C'est ce que les spectateurs y aiment, donc j'espère qu'ils ont aimé le spectacle aujourd'hui. Si vous voulez garder la première partie devant les partisans ici à Verdun, pourquoi c'est important pour toi? Euh, c'est ma nouvelle maison, j'habite ici, je m'entraîne ici, euh, famille, amis, et puis je pense que c'est une bonne façon de commencer l'année. Euh, c'est certain qu'on veut tous, toutes les gauler. Euh, malheureusement, c'est pas possible, mais justement, de jouer à la maison, au Québec, ça fait chaud au cœur. Parmi là, toutes les joueuses présentes en fin de semaine, quelle joueuse a le meilleur lancé? C'est qui ta bête noire? C'est qui la joueuse la plus redoutable? C'est dur à dire parce que la majorité joue avec elle tout le temps. C'est certain que chez les Américaines, Hillary Knight, elle trouve toujours une façon, on dirait, de compter. Euh, sinon, dans notre équipe, euh, Sarah Nurse, c'est une joueuse très talentueuse pour écrire beaucoup de choses. Donc, euh, je suis contente d'avoir Marie-Philippe dans mon équipe, par contre. <rire> en anglais maintenant? It's the first game with those teammates, and as a goalie, you can quickly analyze the game. What are the adjustments your team needs to make for tomorrow's game? And on the other side, what has worked well so far? Uh, we need to take care of the puck a little better. I guess uh, we turned the puck over quite a bit at the blue line, so we need to uh, be careful with that, uh, make the passes we see. And then I guess we were very good at uh, in the ozone, trying to find plays, putting pucks through the net and communicating. So. Uh, a lot of talks uh, that we're going to have in the dressing room, and then tomorrow's going to be another fun day. That was Anne Rene Desbiens. And remember, you can join us for all the action starting at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time on cbcsports.ca, CBC Gem, and the CBC Sports YouTube channel as we close out today's broadcast with some highlights of today's game. Again, my name is Jared Book, and we'll see you Tomorrow, from the Secret Dream Gap Tour, the Cortex Showcase at the Verdun Auditorium at Centre 2102 in Montreal. Have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow.